This is a time lapse of a pear painting. First, draw your outline in a 2H pencil. Add a wash of just water. Wait until the surface has a satin sheen. It shouldn't be too wet or too dry. Now add a pale lemon, for example Windsor lemon, mixed with water. Take care to leave a highlight on the left as the light is coming from the left hand side. Let this dry, that's very important. Now add another clear water wash, wait for the sheen again, then add a pale green made from a mix of Windsor lemon and French ultramarine, once again very watery. Let it dry. Add another clear water wash, Wait for the sheen, then add a pale red, for example, Scarlet Lake. Let it dry. Make up a shadowy mix. I usually use French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna, and here I've added a little Windsor Lemon, so it makes a kind of a dirty green. Add another clear water wash. Wait for the sheen on the surface, then add the pale shadowy mix you just created. Let it dry. Now you're going to add wet paint to the dry paper, first using a pale green mix. So a little more pigment and less water than before. Same again with pale red. While that red is still wet, I added a slightly darker red, made with less water, which then spread because the surface was still wet. Building up more colour, now adding more shadows to the right side of the pear. To blend this colour, use a clean, damp brush. Keep adding more colour all over the pear, gradually using more pigment and less water to make the colours darker. It's important to let each layer dry and don't fiddle too much while it's wet. If you need to fix something, it's better to try to do that when it's dry. Try to retain some reflected light on the right side and bottom of the pear. Now add the cast shadow from the stem as well as adding detail to the stem. Now move to a smaller brush or at least a finer point to use tiny strokes to blend the surface and make it appear smooth. Add more dark in the shadows. Now add the little dots, taking care to check what colour they actually are in different areas of the pair and finishing off the final details.